Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to another Pokemon Reborn. Last episode, we got the 7th Gym Badge, defeating Noel. That was extremely difficult, pretty, pretty easy battle, just the Clefable at the end was really, really annoying. And then we start making our way through Route 1, battled Fern, and then made our way to this little place here where the 8th Gym Leader should be. And we have a nice little Tauros we can ride, um, battled a Buffalan, and you can run Tauros after it, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So let's read this sign. A Gate City, a Tradition of Purity. Okie dokie, let's go inside. Oh, they're asleep. Um, can I not get through here then? Right. I'm not going that way. So I thought that was the way to go. I guess we're just going to keep heading south from here then. Oh, got a maze. Labyrinth, okay. I don't like mazes. Is that the castle over there where I think the gym leader should be? Yeah, I can see a gym there. There's a field effect there, we want to grab that because that could come in handy. Can we find the grass around here? Statlers! Oh, thank you. Alright, so uh, field effect number five Chess Arena. Okay, that's definitely going to be the castle, it has to be. Field notes, chessboard. Okay, so certain moves over chess attacks. Chess attacks 1.5, chess attacks plus rock, plus two when. When the target is confused or has one of the abilities clots, oblivious, simple unaware. Adaptability, anticipation, telepathy, and synchronize. Okay, calm mind, nasty plot. Okay, that's good to know. Trick room lasts eight turns. So certain moves over chest attacks are ancient power, psychic, and strength. We have psychic and strength, so that's good. Okay, that's good to know. Now this gym, I'm not going to say it's going to be easy, because the game's gyms are never easy. But it looks like we might have a bit of an advantage this time. And I really hate mazes. Like if you put me in a maze like this, I will probably end up dying here. I will never get out. Uh, I'll go this way. Oh, oh, have we done it? Have we done it? Need to get through that door. Ah, done it. Easy, easy peasy. I think. Ooh, dealing. So I don't think a grass type on the team might be pretty good, but what I really need is a water type. Oh, there's rain as well. It's really come in handy. So you got the castle. Let's go inside. Hello, challenger, and welcome. Please follow me. Not before I heal up. Okay. My master will join us shortly. Please make yourself comfortable with. Oh, well, what's this? A new challenger. One Miss Gossip, Gardevoir, at your service. And don't worry, dear, autographs are always free of charge. Hmm? Haven't you met a Pokemon that can communicate before? Indeed, Gardevoir is unique among her kind to be able to psychically project her thoughts into English. I am Radamos, the lord of this castle. It's a pleasure to meet you, challenger. As she has already alluded to, this is my god of all. You may have seen her on TV. She managed quite the career. This is my daughter, Luna. Oh, the daughter that went missing. As the castle's maid, I welcome you. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay more comfortable. And you are Voltsy. Is that not so? Oh, don't look so surprised that Master knows who you are already. After all, as Reborn's very own gossip god of all, it is my business to know things. You know all about your repeated raids on the meteors? your involvement with the other leaders, even your little escapade from the orphanage. Oh, but don't worry, your secrets are safe with me. Let's not uh, overestimate the value of that statement. Nonetheless, Faultsy, I assume that you have come for your next gym battle. In that case, Gardevoir, Luna, would you please excuse us? Yes, Master. Ooh, enjoying a private moment already. That's sensuous. Gardevoir, <laughs> going. Gardevoir is lively, but mostly harmless. 
feel free to pay her no mind. That is not why I dismissed them, however. I understand that you have met with Luna's father. That is L. Allow me to clarify one thing. Though I call Luna my daughter, she is most definitely not. She appeared one day and claimed me to be her father. Despite my protests, she moved herself right in. Of course, my own family is long since gone, and it was a bit empty in here. So who was I to say no to her? Indeed, it seems that she is just playing a part in some greater fantasy. She fancies herself a maid and a princess at once, and fills each role nicely. She's a strange girl, and has, no, has been no small source of amusement for Gardevoir and I. Of course, she and Gardevoir were fast friends too. It's not as if I can just dismiss her now, but tell me, what is your impression of Elle? He has come calling more than once to reclaim her, but I refused him. I suspect there have been, may have been some hint of abuse in her past, or else she would not have fervently fled her, oh god that went way too fast. To that end I am resolved to protect her from him. That is the long and the short of the affair. Master, pardon me for interrupting, we have another guest. By all means, please show them in. Don't suppose you are expecting anyone? Hey, it's Kane. Voltsy! Hey, girl! Hey! Welcome, I suppose you too have come for a gym battle? Yep, got some catching up to do, huh? Totally got sidetracked by that whole business with Heather. Didn't manage to find her again. Not that she was happy about it. She was adopted by some guy up in, uh... Amtrain? City. I think his name was Blake? So that's good enough for me. As long as she's happy. Well now, there are lots... There are lost girls all over the place. Beg your pardon? Of course I jest. Nonetheless, we now have two challengers, only one gym. Easy, Voltsy and I will take you on together, and we both get the badge. If only, if only, I'm afraid that wouldn't do at all. Could you play any real strategy with two minds on one side of the board? When the king knows uh, not what the queen is doing, the whole kingdom falls into disarray, and soon, checkmate. A master is amassed, amassed with fortune by winning chess tournaments all across the globe. He is quite admirable, don't you think? Jeez, I, I was just kidding anyway. I know how this goes, Volta and I battle to see who challenges first, yeah? Well, no, I got here first, I challenge you. Anyway, now anyway, this is a psychic gym and I know better than to go with a uh, bunch of poison types. So I got some new tricks, check it out. And I gotta battle Kane first. I was hoping you still have poison types because I could easily, easily beat you, but alright. Got a muck. Uh, luckily, ooh. Let's go flamethrower. Not bad. Got the burn straight up. And you have a lumberry to cure the burn. Of course you do. So this game just hates me so much. Like, whenever I get good hacks, it's just like, nope. We have a way to counter it. And then we're going to just get a critical hit on you. Stuff like that. <laughs> and we missed the flamethrower, of course. Watch him get a crit on me. Oh, wow, no. Moomoo milk. Alright, that's fine. more flamethrowers and we missed again. Isn't two flamethrowers? Oh, I, I guess you did go for minimize, so that does make a lot of sense. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Let's go blink. Nice little psychic. And uh, gonna miss. I swear, like, ever since Gen 1, muck with minimize has been, like, the worst thing in the world to ever hit. So annoying. Alright, let's go to Jason. No sucker punch for you. Go for a nice signal beam. And you look confused. Ooh, milk, that's fine. I'm gonna heal up, because I feel like you might try and attack me. You might hurt yourself. Ha! I knew it! Good. Mid a king. Let's go back into blink. Gotta spam them psychics, you know. Hopefully win this. So Psychic does a lot, oh, maybe not. Does Psychic do more damage? So uh, the chest piece slammed forward. I assume it does more damage. Uh, Galvantula. Oh, that's when the King would, sorry, the King Charles would come in handy, but as well as I went into Noctown, this thing's electric type as well. So we might be able to do this. Got paralyzed, great. I thought it was bog type for a second, but the Don can take us out of an earthquake. 
Nice. Three left. Samurai. Let's go to Jason. Discharge. What? Took me out. I want to check something quick. If I go into Don, strength. No. Okay, I just want to make sure that chest piece thing didn't. The moves let me outspeed stuff, but it doesn't. We're going to outspeed the Samurai right now. I'm screwed. Oh, Sucker Punch. There you go. I do. Didn't even finish it off. What? I really thought I would have finished it. Okay. That's annoying. The samurai is actually murdering me right now. I'm gonna lose. Gengar, we've lost. A few tricks of the sleeve are not nice. All right, took out the muck. Second time, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be a lot easier. I'm not gonna lose so quick. Swords dance. Okay. A bit scary, but if we paralyze it, then it'll be great. But I think we're gonna finish you off now because that's not enough HP to live another discharge. Second time to charm, I'll tell you. Light screen, yes. But get rid of what though? Guess we don't need to because Blink has light screen. Nether King. And Blink. Play a bit smarter now, we can actually win, hopefully. Nice. Three left. Galvantula, go to the Don. Oh, six HP. Gengar coming out. Let's go into Blink. Psychic. Come on, leave Shadow Ball. Oh, maybe not. Uh, Kapora's got this. Then headbutts, miss the focus blast, nice. She may not outspeed you because potentially flinch you. For a gunk shot. Ouch, that did a lot of damage. What? Okay. Swords down sucker punch seemed to just uh sweep me. Seemed good. You're gonna heal up. Didn't heal up. Okay, live that just about. Alright, come on, Kapora. Finish it off. Nice, and we won. Second time the charm. Okay, but where did Luna go? Okay. Soften them up for you, yeah? Oh, do you not believe you can best me yourself? It's a joke! Stop taking everything so seriously. On the contrary, it may be you who is taking me too seriously. Excuse me, Master. Is Miss Gardevoir with you? I cannot find her. I thought she was with you. It was like I'm playing black this game. Perfect. Huh? Oh, nothing. Master, a message was delivered for you. Message? Now, who might that be? The person who delivered it was dressed in a light robe, but I didn't recognize him. Is that so? Let me to see. Pleased to be of service. To one, Rodimus Van Hannen. To one, does that imply there's more than one? I, would, I should like to meet the other. To one, Rodimus Van Hannen, I have captured your precious gossip Gardevoir. Should you wish to see her again, you will return my daughter to me immediately. Signed, L. What? No, sincerely? Not even with love? How rude. That person isn't my father. You are. I beg of you, master, please don't send me away with him. She was really just captured? But she was right there when we came in. It was likely that they were uh, winning for such a diversion as your battle, just as well. Uh, I've got to get her back. Absolutely. Miss Gardevoir is my dear friend. You will find her, won't you, Master? Hmm. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Right, Boltsy? But how? We have no idea where they went. What do we do? Nothing. Master? There is no need to do anything. What are you talking about? She's your Pokemon, don't you care at all? Of course I do. It's for that reason that I need not act. Ugh, you make no sense. Goldhead, I'll go find her myself. Wait, I wish to help as well. Luna, it will not do to let you endanger yourself. You are the piece he wants to capture. 
Let me to act in your stead. Oh. I'm on the case. Do wait here. It will not do to let yourself fall into her, his traps. Okay. So I guess we'll go. Let's heal up, definitely. Where are we going? So you swapped one silly hat for another. Now, now, there's nothing silly about it. I simply chose the right hat for the job. Uh, will we not be uh, sleuthing out Gardevoir? Yeah, quite the change of heart you've had. Do not misunderstand me. There is no need for something as rash as this, but if Luna demands it... I don't get it, I thought Gardevoir were only supposed to be drawn to the most loyal trainers, but you make it seem like you don't care at all. Should Black be concerned when the White King places himself in check? What are you even talking about? Let's go find her already. As you wish. Considering that a gate city is presently closed, there are not a large number of places to which he could have fled. I expect he will attempt to have moved towards Reborn City. There'll be more places for him to hide there. Which uh, route will we take? I will follow your lead. Animus one. Right. Move direction. Let's do this. Okay. Every single time I want to get my gym badge, something has to happen. You couldn't try and take. You couldn't like you know try and get Luna back after my gym battle, but no. I have to do it just before. Just before. Always. Like this game, like whenever I go for a gym battle, I just don't expect to get my gym badge right away. I'm expecting, oh god. Expecting I'll get it like after two scenarios, I would say. Right. Route one. Gate City is closed off, so we are going to the left. I don't want to fight anyone, but if I must. Oh, another flamethrower should finish it off, hopefully. Ouch, do that much damage, that's not cool. But we will heal up, and we'll be fine. Alright, question is, where do we go? Because we can just, like, keep going down here, places down here, and then you've got the entrances to the North, uh, north field. We just say towards Reborn City, which I would assume would be all the way back by the. Uh... Oh god. Oh man, this gravel is gonna be a pain in the butt. No rock blast. I hate rock blast so much since the last gym battle. It's fine. We can heal up with that building. Went to that one time. Uh, Quake should finish it off pretty easy. Oh, you live with like a little bit of HP? Damn, dude. Not cool. And you have a uh, free Pokemon, of course you do. Oh, it's just going to Kapora. Uh, slash will do. Oh my god, what? We level up like 1 HP and then just decreased again. We had that. Oh, we might lose this battle. Seems to be a pain in the butt to beat. Should have gone for Gunk Shot. Would have killed it the defense drops, but it's too late now. And last Pokemon is a uh, Tauros. Rock smashes. We can lower his defense, that'll be sweet. But I won't see that happening. Come on, hurt yourself in confusion. Hurt yourself in confusion! Yay! Nice. Level 57. Very nice. Right, let's continue on. I'm hoping. Oh, do I need to get a Taurus? I do, don't I? Let's go down here. And go around E. Perfect. This like route is just so long though. I, I really don't like this route. I hope we're going to have to run back to the castle to get the gym badge, I'm pretty sure, after we uh, rescue the Gardevoir. I'm not looking forward to it. 
Like, if I just super speed this, avoid that battle. It's a dead end. And keep going, and we're here. Nice. So we can heal up the building on the next floor. And he should hopefully be. Round here. Ah, of course, the gate is still sealed. Oh, he's cheesing it. Quick, after him. You get away from me. I saw him too. It would seem our culprit has been cornered. Wait, where did he go? Did he use an escape rope? No, who's been silly? Press forward. I believe there is just another space beyond that gear. Okay. Oh. Easy. This may be more challenging for an adult. Hmm. Are you really stuck? Come to think of it, why doesn't this thing turn anyways? It froze when the Grand Gates did. It was uh, before Reborn Cities collapse. More than a decade ago. Presumably, these uh, mechanisms are linked to the doors themselves. Many have tried to get them to operate again, but to no avail. Well, whatever. Even if it's uh, tight, just force your way in. I mean, I don't normally say that to boys, but this is different. <laughs> I'm going to pretend that I didn't understand that remark. Alright, here we go. Ah! Well, now I've done it. Actually, it would appear that that drop isn't too far. It seems to lead into some kind of cave. Ready to go diving? Uh, sure, let's go. And down the rabbit hole we go. No, oh, where is everyone? Well, no son of our friend. Perhaps he wandered off in search of an exit already. It looks like it's our move. Okie dokie. I really wish there was a Pokemon nearby so I can like, buy repels and potions and all the, the good stuff we need. But there is a TM we can get to somehow. So what we've got around here. We have Sanctuary level 26. Oh, we've been here before. The question is like... How do we get down and where are we going? Can we go through here? Yes, we can. Cave! Yeah, an exit, looks like. Nope, just to this side. Sweet. And down we go. I feel like this is going to lead to something pretty awesome, you know? A lot of twisty, uh, twisty turny parts. Ooh. What is going on here? Ah! So this is where you've gotten to. I certainly had no intention of landing you down here. But it seems we've found quite the, uh, Zandu. That's not the only thing we've found, look. Oh, so you're here after all. Huh? Were you expecting us? Not at all. But that older man just came by and told me what was going on. I don't think anyone was really pursuing him though. To be clear, exactly what did he tell you? Tell me how you had kidnapped his daughter and brainwashed her into thinking that she was your own. And so he got a hold of your Gardevoir? And God, what have you done to this poor thing? So that you might uh, release his daughter. I beg your pardon? Your Gardevoir doesn't seem to care for you as a trainer at all. Isn't that right? Yes. I had always been too afraid of uh, Rodimus. Say anything about it, but you'll protect me from him, won't you, Adrian? Not going to stand for anyone who treats that Pokemon badly. You're safe with me, Gardevoir. The oh, halls, so that's how it is. Interesting. I've always hated being with him. But back at the castle, you seem perfectly happy. It was all a show. I'm expected to be in perfect harmony with my trainer. But how can I, with someone like him, with someone like that? All the horrible things he's done. He's neglectful and lies all the time. I was even there when he brainwashed Luna. The truth is, I was glad when Elle stole me away. There you have it. I can't forgive someone for being so cruel to such a sweet Pokemon as Gardevoir. So, I will definitely protect her. I will help him get his daughter back, and his stolen property. Stolen property too? What are you talking about now? Voltsy must know. After all, he has them. Voltsy stole something? What? Oh. This and... What? No, the Amethyst Pendant is Anna's! Get off of Voltsy! There's still the Ruby Ring. 
These items rightfully belong to L. So did you say Amethyst Pendant? I guess I, it'll have to do. Only one key is necessary to reach the uh, array, array, so I was supposed to get both of them. Thieves and liars seldom relinquish things that easily. Come on, God of All, let's go. We'll get the other one later. Right. Faulty, right? And Renimus, I remember it. But please don't try to stop us if you have no intention of releasing Luna. Okay, that was strange. I would nev uh, have never guessed God of All felt that way. But Rodimus, did you really brainwash Luna? Exactly how would I do such a thing? It's a foolish idea. Well anyway, we should chase after them before they get too far ahead. Perhaps this will be an interesting game after all. Yeah, this is it's getting very interesting. Ooh, this place looks cool. Uh, what is going on though? L, what do you do to God of All? Please do not defile this holy place with your unintelligible shouting. L has only freed me. Why is, why is it so hard for you to believe? These heretics remain in darkness. They would not so much believe in the Lord Arceus if it bestowed a holy judgment right before them. Come, God of All, Adrian. Ascend with me to the light. This is weird. It is strange. When I fell down here, I was certain I would be trapped alone. But almost immediately, I saw a girl climbing up the cave wall. And then El and God of All appeared. And now you all. Is this some kind of secret tourist spot? If so, I'm displeased with the customer service. Well, that is not at all what I meant, but okay. By the way, is that person a boy or a girl? Perhaps it would be best to ask. More importantly, it seems they were able to open that door with the power of the Amethyst Pendant. If I heard correctly, do you not also, Volti, possess the Ruby Ring? In that case, perhaps we can access a different door. Maybe the red door? Hey! <laughs> it's kind of obvious, but... Okay, we got... Light becomes dark as dark becomes light. Truth behind becomes hidden, twisted in the lie. Each power in its own seeks to impart itself unto the innocent heart. Those of the light speak only the truth. Those of the dark speak within lies. The divine will distinguish and ably uh, sleuth the right from the wrong, the lies from the truth. Okay, what am I doing? Inferno always tells the truth, but Inferno has a line with darkness. I don't know. Seems like they both have some kind of darkness. Shimchar speaks in lies, while Fano 2 is ripe with darkness. So they're all dark? Maybe you're light. Ah. Okay, cool. What's in here? Ooh. Don't want to figure that out right now, but still. Ellen and Gardevoir have continued up to the URI. I'm supposed to take the ruby ring from you so that you can't so you can't follow us. Will you give it to me? No! That's right, no way you're getting that ring. Yes, you said something like that about the Amphis pendant too. But it doesn't seem like you're lying. But L insists that they belong to him. But he did seem to know about them. For instance, that they would open these doors. I've been wandering around down here just a little while before he showed up, and they wouldn't open at all. What is this place? I fell down here when I was uh, inspecting the Grand Gates about an hour ago, but by then there's this old ruin. Don't know what to make of it. I believe that the answer will become clear as we press forward. Which brings us back to the ring, huh? One of you is definitely lying to me, but who? Don't know what's up with Gardevoir, but El kidnapped her from Radimus. Luna wants us to get her back. Right. Then there's that Luna girl he was mentioning. Surely there's some way to prove one, one way or another? Elementary, my dear Adrian. Allow me. This is the ransom note left for, for me by L. Please read it. The others can attest to the fact that this is not a forgery. To one Ranibus van Hunnen, I have kept your precious gossip guard of all. Should you wish to see her again, you will return my daughter to me immediately. If I were really so bad of a trainer as to warrant the hate that guard of all confesses, would I have allowed, would I have followed L here? I'm not gonna lie, you didn't seem too happy to go at first. Yet here I am. None of this makes any sense. Right, but we're gonna get to the bottom of it. Or the top, since we seem to be going up, but... Well, bottom, top, whatever, I'm a switch, I don't care. Again, I'm gonna pretend that I didn't catch that. <laughs> Alright, let's go find... <laughs> let's go find out together. All of us. Through the ruby door, then. Hey, I'm Adrian. I'm Adrian, right? Can I ask something? What is it? Well, uh, sorry to ask, but are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> 
Ah, no need to be sorry, I'm neither. You know that there are genderless Pokemon, right? Like that, I prefer to think of myself as not being on either side. Well, I'm confused and a little bit turned on. So then, for pronouns? He, him, his? But I think we've got more pressing concerns right now. Bolty, would you get that door? Hell yeah, let's go. Okay. Himon-chan is a liar, but Himon Lee remains true to light. Okay, so Himon-chan is a liar. Himon Lee uh, serves the darkness, but Himon Top always speaks the truth. So you're a liar. You always speak the truth, so you're, what you say is a lie. Tyrek speaks the truth. So if Tyrek says it's the truth, Himon's a liar. And that means Himon Top must be telling the truth. Let's put you dark. What do you actually say? Young Tarok has no has not drifted from the light, but Hitmon Top has twisted into darkness. Maybe you're dark as well? You're light. You're dark. But what if you're light though? That's what I was thinking. But it's a chance you're dark, and then you're light. Yeah. Cool. Nice little heal up thing. This place is looking cool. Ooh. I'm quite saving in case something bad happens. As I thought, the door to the innermost sanctum will not open without all four keys. So Adrian, you failed to detain them. I think there are some questions that need to be answered, L. Questions? Answers? Such meaningless words of humans. This is a holy place. This is not the place for trifles such as those. Beyond this gate lies that from those who dream of our world unfolds. Behold, O oh unworthy ones, the birthplace of Arceus. For it is known that the god of Pokemon did create unto the earth all other species. But wherefrom did the divine itself undertake its existence? For it is known that Pokemon are often found on voyage from space beyond our reach. Here upon our earth doth a meteor crash bearing upon it our lord. Here in the sanctum doth that very meteor lie. Yet how vile is it that it should be buried so far beneath the filth known as reborn city. My lord, I beg your forgiveness for humanity's sins. Ignosco venia de facto? I don't know. And yet, what if the door would open for us? What if Arceus could be born anew? For what might we use as holy power? But to cleanse this world and begin from pure innocence once again? Anything can be said to be uh, heretical. And what does a deceiver as you know of declaiming heresy? Isn't it ironic for you to say that with that Pokemon standing by your side? Radimus, I had more than enough of your constant lying. Why don't you just admit what you've done to poor Luna? That's right, return Luna to me and I'll return your Gardevoir. Gardevoir even wants to go back. We're going to consider the wishes of those who, whose custody is questioned. Let's not ignore Luna's adamant wish to remain with me. Such a wish is born in falsehood. You control her mind to make her say such things. Really? What a foolish ac accusation. I know it's true though. I was there when you did it. Radimus, you're an awful monster. I've always hated being your Pokemon. How long are you going to keep this up? Don't you even care about your Pokemon's feelings, Radimus? I'll second that question. You really don't seem affected by its words at all. A Pokemon like that? Why should I care? Oh, he says such cruel things. Adrian, please protect me from him. I don't want to believe it, but maybe Radimus really did brainwash Luna. He's a callous and two-faced swine who has no moral compass. Better no compass at all than one that points south L. One of the best measures of a person's worth is how they treat those in their power. Your God of War truly seems to resent you, Radimus. Cannot agree that it should be returned to you. And I think you, uh, you would do well to release the spell on Luna as well. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Adrian. The way you say that. It's not an apology at all. Are you really that cold-hearted? Perhaps it is better judged by those who met God of War with Luna. You mean you're asking whose side we're taking? You choose to view it that way? I don't know. You don't seem to care at all about Gardevoir, and you certainly didn't react when she was taken. You made jokes instead. On the other hand, Luna really seems to want to stay with you. That could just be a trick. Ah, I don't get it at all. 
Fozzy, what do you think? Should we start with L or Radimus? Ooh. The problem is I don't trust Rad uh, don't I don't trust L. Starting not to trust Radimus, but I don't trust L more, so I'm gonna s Wait, what was the question? Who are we siding with? Oh, I don't know. Radimus. Alright, I'll trust you on that one, Voltsy. Radimus, very good. I'm relieved that I am not the only one to whom this uh, charade is transparent. Charade? What are you talking about? Isn't your reason for uh, remaining with L the accusations of my Gardevoir? However, you've never met her. Well, she's right there. She's been talking all along. Is she really? L? So you knew all along, did you? What? Wait, that's... That's a ditto this whole time. Like the riddles in the ruins, towers? Light and truth do not always go hand in hand. As our friend Adrian said just moments ago, things aren't that black or white. Sometimes, light can even be more blinding than darkness. And I, for one, think it would have been silly to be taken in by that dramatic confession of a false Pokemon. That's why I was in uninterested. You are as obstinate as ever, Radimus. But it is ironic that you would mention blindness. Look into my eyes. They're white. Wait. Do you mean to say that you're blind? Not anymore, but I once was. Yet no sooner did I undertake a prayer to the Lord Arceus that he blessed me with my vision. I followed his name ever since. Now I will design to borrow his power once more. Can you feel it? The holy energy that changes this place emanates from the stone of Arceus. Ditto. Embrace the Lord's blessing. Take the energy into thyself. A primo oppressi oppressum? Oh. Odoro Creo Udex, my divinus. We will silence the heretics. Let judgment rain down upon thee. In thy qualms, a new light awakens. Let it be thus revealed. Oh. Got a battle of Arceus. Great. Level 75, and you want me to beat this thing? Okay. Um, judgment. Great. And they get strengthened by the crystals. How am I supposed to beat Arceus? Come on. I don't see myself winning. Go gunk shot. Judgment has 5 PP, so we can live like one attack, but. <laughs> We're just gonna get smashed! I doubt we have to win this fight, right? Alright, let's slow you down, Thunder Wave. What am I supposed to do? Like, you're just gonna sweep me, I can't win this. Right. Okay, so... I clearly have to lose this battle, there's no way you win this. Of course, just have the moves that destroy me. You, you want me to win? What? So I read if you side with L and you lose. It continues on. So uh, let's see if this works. Because I've been trying for a good hour to try and beat Arsis and I can't outspeed it. Like, all the damage I can do is suck a punch. So, didn't give a judgment this time, eh? So first, oh, there's judgment. <laughs> oh man, the left over just bring this HP all the way back up. Critical hit, sweet. That's what I like, getting crits. Thunder wave. So 
is not going well still. I cannot do damage to it. If I do, just it was up. Oh, we lived. Wow. Okay, that's good. Come on, Garbo. We've got this, buddy. Got a poison. If we can just keep healing up, but we might have win this. Going for a full heal, of course. Just my luck. Hey, there you go. Trust my power is now demonstrated. Yet, you elected to side with me. I'll show you the Lord's mercy. However, for the others, I think that's about enough. Mm, yes, you shall receive the divine punishment next. On the contrary, it's my move now. God of all, teleport now. Ta-da! What? How? You have God of all along? So that's the real God of all. At your service, miss me? Dearly, but we're not done yet. God of all hypnosis attack. Yes, master? What are you... Oh, good night. Moi. It's a one-hit KO. Indeed. That about makes this case closed. Well, I'll take this one back down to the station. Here's some time to do. Wait, I don't get it. If you could have just had God of all teleport at any time, why would we come all the way down here? Hadn't said it before, simply because Luna asked me to. Yep, could have escaped any time. But oh, my dull and master saved me! Don't I make a compelling damsel in distress? This god of all is certainly more lively. Oh yeah, you were all, I will protect you and stuff. <laughs> but I would never leave my master, he's perfect. Huh, well, I'm relieved. You really should be so surprised, I, I asked in the first place. Why I should be concerned when the opposing king places himself in check. I would try to strike at me by using Gardevoir, but it was his mistake in underestimating her. Please, hold your applause for me until we're back in the comfort of home. On that note, I think it's about time we picked ourselves up out of here. Let's go. And we're gonna go next time. Hopefully get our gym badge, because that would be... That would be really good if we can get it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.